Orion Amstutz, a recruiter at Clackamas Community College, was one big life decision away from finding herself in the middle of one of the most devastating natural disasters in American history. After growing up in nearby Redland, the Lake Ridge High grad decided to go to college at Tulane University in New Orleans. I really, I was excited to get out and experience something new. Um, I'd lived in Oregon my whole life and um, New Orleans seemed like it would be kind of like moving to a foreign country, somewhere new and exciting and um, new people, new foods, new lifestyle, new culture, everything. And I was really excited for that. After getting used to the hot and humid summer in the south, Amstutz fell in love with the Big Easy. I really think that New Orleans is some place you either love it or you hate it. And I think once it clicks with you, you are in love with it because it has so much personality and the culture and the people. Then in August of 2005, eight years after she had graduated from Tulane, Katrina hit and hit hard. At least 1,836 people lost their lives and 80% of the city was flooded. The Big Easy, quite simply, was destroyed. It was, it was kind of surreal. My friend and I were talking about it and we really, up until it actually hit, just kept thinking, you know what, it's not going to happen. They keep, they've been saying for years and years that this worst case scenario is going to happen, and, and then it did. And that was crazy. It was kind of like watching 9-11 on the news. Um, you just feel very, it's very emotional, and it really gets you, but you also feel really um, helpless and powerless, and you're just kind of watching what's happening. And it's... Since graduating, she has been back to New Orleans twice, but only once since after the hurricane. I was back this last November, and um, I noticed a lot of businesses and um, places that um, had been there when I was in school that were gone, and when you asked more questions and asked people what was going on, um, they had said that after the hurricane they just weren't able to, you know, bounce back the money, everything was just too tough economically. It has crossed her mind to return to New Orleans and help get it back on its feet. I've thought about, um, possibly going back to help um, with the, they're really kind of renewing and reviving their educational system there. While Amstutz has been on staff at Clackamas for six and a half years, she's been around the campus since she was little. Building things. When I was a little kid, so when I was like four or five years old and getting started with like brownies and Girl Scouts and doing all that stuff or had grade school field trips, we would actually come up to the Clackamas Community College campus and we'd go to the Environmental Learning Center and I remember they had these big cages with hawks and owls and different things in there. and um, So I've been, yeah, been around for a long time. While her job title is Advising and Recruitment Specialist, there is plenty more to go with her job. Those are only two like of the bazillion parts of my job, so um, I do probably, you know, in the mornings we have lots of emails, whether it's with prospective students or um, contacts that we have in the high schools, because we do work a lot with um, our high school partners, or um, we work closely with our student leaders on campus too, both um, helping support them in their roles as um, student ambassadors in our offices, um, who specifically is lo located in this area. Um, but also um, doing the kind of academic advising and just um, mentorship for them. So that's something we do during the day. Um, really, I think, rare to be able to find a place that you work where you feel um, like you're making a difference in people's lives every day. I really like that we're able to be um, extremely responsive with our education and the access that we can provide. So you get to go out and, I think, meet a lot of um, people from diverse backgrounds and with diverse needs. And even though um, I'm sure in a four-year institution, you still get that feeling of you're making a difference in people's lives. I think it's really extremely ta tangible um, when you're at a community college because people are um, coming in for so many different reasons and a lot of them um, you know, big life-changing reasons too.